As part of the program in its first phase, Nigerians 16 years and older and all resident in the country for more than two years will get the new multi-purpose identity card which has 13 applications, including MasterCard prepaid payment technology that will provide cardholders with the safety, convenience and reliability of electronic payments. Studies have shown that the cost of cash is about 1.5% of a GDP. In the case of Nigeria, that's $7 billion of cost. The project ties in with the Nigerian government's plans to introduce identity cards and reduce Nigerians' reliance on cash transactions and thereby impact on economic productivity. That there are opportunities for government and the Nigerian people to act decisively to take care of these problems. And if we do that, we are growing at 7% now on average. If we do that, I believe that not just the growth rate, but what we need is the quality of growth will improve. The dual purpose identity and payment card could initially be used for bank accounts and electronic payments, while it is expected that it will facilitate the provision of credit in future. It opens up um, 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 personal finance. And, and loans to individuals and small-scale businesses, such that right now, the expansions that we're seeing right now are people using their own money for growth. Very little credit is going in. But when identity comes in and credit history comes in, you will see an infusion of, of, of credit. Nigeria is Africa's most populous nation and leading oil producer with an estimated population of some 180 million people and one of the continent's fastest growing economies. The country has, however, lagged in the penetration of financial services. Peter Kaba, CCTV.